And as that music implies, high overhead, members of the United States Army Golden Knights with us this weekend. And they are coming in right above us, about 12 o'clock, 12,500 feet above the airbase. Our first shopper today will be staff, uh, hey, what are staff you doing with, uh, uh, Sergeant First Class Mike Cooch from, uh, he'll be carrying our flag today. He'll also be the narrator for the Golden Knights demonstration team. Yes. All right, from behind the scene of those skydivers on the exit the Friendship at 12,500 feet. Shortly after the exit of the aircraft, you'll see smoke canisters begin to appear in the skies over the airfield. And that'll help us identify the jumpers as they make their way down to the ground again. When you look up, the human body doesn't look very big at over 12,500 feet. And our first jumper is on his way down. There's the red trail of smoke. You can see it appearing in the sky as he makes his way down at almost 120 miles an hour. Now we're beginning to see the silhouette of our first jumper. And Sergeant First Class Mike Gooch coming down very rapidly towards the airfield here today. Now watch as uh, black and gold appears in the sky and a good canopy. For over 59 years, members of the United States Army Parachute Team have been making, uh, marking the milestones of achievement and an evolution of excellence serving as ambassadors of the Army. The Golden Knights portray the image of being the most formidable parachute competitors and demonstration team in the world today. If you mention the name Golden Knights, the American public in any of the 50 states, most likely what comes to mind is the phenomenal demonstration they watched in the past years at air shows or sporting events. If you mention the Golden Knights, the sport parachutists, they will think of the competitors they jump against or heard about in parachute meetings across the country or abroad. The team was formed back in 1959 by 19 airborne soldiers from various military units. In April of 1961, the Department of Defense officially activated the SDIC team of the United States Army Parachute Demonstration Team. The team is one of three DOD sanctioned aerial demonstration teams along with the Thunderbirds and Blue Angels. Today operates under the same principles as the Wright Brothers' first aircraft. The Wright Brothers' plane did not have ailerons. We actually turned it by warping the wings. And that's exactly what each of our skydivers will do here today. As you watch him get close to the ground, you'll see him pull down on the control cables, left and right, and that will allow him to steer the parachute in the direction he wants to go. And just like an aircraft, right before it lands, you'll see him pull down on both control cables and stall the parachute out and land right on a target landing. All right, let's welcome him back down to the ground. He can hear you up there. Give him a big holler. Now watch, he pulls down both control cables, the parachute stalls out, and a nice target landing. Created initially, this disabled pilot's life as he jumped from his disabled aircraft. Parachuting has become an extreme sport of the 21st century. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sergeant First Class Mike Cook, originally from La Crosse, Wisconsin. It's been my proud honor to fly in today on my 2,157th free fall parachute jump. 
I will describe for you today a demonstration of precision free fall as performed by members of your United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. At this time, members of the Gold Demonstration Team are circling high overhead and are distinctively painted C-31 Friendship Aircraft at an altitude of 11,500 feet. The jump master is actually looking out the left door of the aircraft. His head is outside in the wind and the cold. Through a series of hand and arm signals, he is relaying heading directions to the pilot, maneuvering the aircraft to a precise exit point for the jumpers. Watch closely as you may see the nose of the aircraft move slightly left or right in response to, your, to these steering instructions. The aircraft has been slowed to a safe exit speed of 120 miles per hour, the same speed as a free fall parachutist at terminal velocity. In a matter of moments, members of the Gold Demonstration Team will simultaneously exit the aircraft to form one of the many formations possible to achieve while in free fall. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise as our tandem team just landed with their tandem passenger. Are they selling As the aircraft gracefully crosses overhead, the jump master gives a crossed arm signal of hot target, signifying that the airspace is clear and that it is safe to jump. The jumpers complete their final gear checks and move to the doors in the rear of the aircraft. That thumbs up signal of standby has been given. Watch momentarily for the jumpers to exit the aircraft. The jumpers are out and the smoke is on. We now have members of the Golden Knights rapidly approaching speeds of 120 miles per hour. The initial part of the formation is called the base and it forms quickly as the initial jumpers fly together while interlocking their arms and legs to form the nucleus of the formation. The remaining jumpers set up slightly above and outside the formation awaiting the team leader's call. At 9,000 feet, the team leader gives a thumbs up, signaling the outside jumpers to fly to the base. As they fly closer and closer together, they use their arms, legs, and shoulders as flight controls to safely complete the formation. The formation continues to fall at 120 miles per hour as free fall photographer circles formation. There you have the bomb burst maneuver. Watch for watch momentarily for the open parachutes. And there you have the high-flying black and gold of your United States Army Parachute Team, the Golden Knights. Now, as you may have guessed, these jumpers are faced with a unique situation, a traffic jam in the sky. They must gain vertical separation to allow for individual approaches into the target area. This is accomplished by pulling down on the front part of the parachute, spiraling down at speeds of 60 miles per hour, setting up a traffic pattern just like you might see aircraft at a busy airport. At 1,000 feet, the jumper does what is called a wind penetration check, checking his distance and speed across the ground. He then flies a downwind leg, up base leg 90 degrees to the target, and then faces into the wind for his final approach. Ladies and gentlemen, these jumpers are 1,000 feet. They can hear you very clearly. Make some noise and let them know where you are. The jumper keeps a close eye on the windsock located in the target area. Once on final approach, he will shift all his concentration to a small black dot located in the center of the orange X. Watch as his first jumper turns in into the wind for his final approach. You may notice the tail of the parachute curl under. This slows the jumper's forward rate while also reducing his descent. Watch the minor corrections this jumper uses as he brings it in over the target. For a beautiful dead center landing. Not to be outdone by this first jumper, watch as the second jumper is watching that wind socks, pulling down on his toggles, slowing all his forward speed for a beautiful target area landing. The parachutes used by the Golden Knights are flexible wind sliders. Constructed of a lightweight ripstop nylon, these parachutes have an inherent forward air speed of 22 miles per hour. To turn left, the jumper pulls down on the left steering line. 
The turn right, the jumper simply pulls down on the left right steering line. As the jumper nears ground, he will pull down on both steering lines simultaneously for another dead center landing. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise as this jumper flies in the New Jersey State flag in the target area. This C-31 jump aircraft used by the Golden Knights is a medium-range twin turboprop cargo airplane modified for jump use. It has two large doors in the rear of the aircraft that can be opened in flight. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise as these last two jumpers bring it into the target. As you notice, this jumper here is flying the POW MIA flag. Pulls down on those brakes, stops all his forward movement, straight down onto the target for another dead center landing. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our performance for the day. And on behalf of the entire team, I would like to thank each and every one of you for being such a warm and receptive airborne audience. In closing, I leave you with this final thought. In the future, may all of your days be prosperous and your nights golden. <laughs>